Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, we have a video on here today. Obviously, this is different than normal, but the reason we do is because we're going to be using SketchUp, and from SketchUp, we're also going to be doing some modeling uh, of 3D stuff. And so, with 3D stuff, I want to be able to show how I'm using uh, this tool right here. So, this is a pair of vernier calipers, uh, sometimes referred to as micrometers, but that's not actually, I don't think that's actually true because that's a different tool, but basically, the shape and the digital readout and stuff like that. Great tool. This is $13 on Amazon if you get the off brand. And uh, get the metal one with the slider on the end if you do get it um, there. So, uh, but it's it's really useful, especially for like, you know, say you have a board and you want to like measure and verify spacing between holes, you know, say, say it doesn't come back from the fab correctly or you don't have the right size part or something, just to verify things mechanical. It's really nice. Anyways, we're going to use it to model something very sim simple today, and uh, which will be a wheel of the um, of the. This is from that that robot, the magician chassis robot. You don't have to use this one. This is really just to show the concept of of taking a model and then using that as uh, using that for later, right? So what we're going to do is is take this thing and uh, measure it out. And then once it's measured, we'll be able to enter it into here, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, first things first, if you if you have a, a three button mouse with a middle a middle scroll wheel or and, and button, if you tap that excuse me that middle button, it's uh, that's like a orbit view, rolling up and down on a scroll wheel allows you to zoom in and out, and then pan you can select select and pan stuff like that. So spacebar takes you back to just a, a cursor. Again, this is SketchUp, so if you're not into SketchUp, that's fine. This this kind of stuff is pretty similar for a lot of CAD programs. Um, so you know, even if you, you know, if you want to use FreeCAD or SCAD or, or OpenSCAD rather, whatever, whatever you want to use. I mean, there's a lot of open source tools as well. This is just because I've been using this so far, and I'm on the hunt for new ones. I'm also looking at things like Autodesk Fusion 360 stuff like that. Okay, so let's get going. Uh, so we have this wheel here. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is just measure the outside diameter, right? And I'm gonna do everything. Oh, sorry, actually I have to change that here. Sorry about that. So if we go to Window, Model. This is always defaults to architectural. We're gonna decimal and then millimeters and then this much precision, and it's gonna allow snapping to to that uh, right there. Okay, so from here, uh, so I know. So I'm gonna take the measurement of this guy, right, and just take the outside diameter. And a lot of this is gonna be rough. So you know, if you're not ex if you're not precise on this particular thing, it's not a big deal. But you know, in, you do want to uh, try and get it pretty close later. So it says 60, oops, 64.5 millimeters. I'm going to actually round that up. That seems different than yesterday. Uh, I was playing around with this a little bit yesterday. Actually, I'm going to, if you squeeze it down a little bit, it's actually 64. So I'm going to take 64 mil, 64 millimeters is the is the diameter. Right, so if we want to take the radius, first thing we do is we hit C, and then from the center point origin here, right, we're going to draw it on that. I'm going to click, and then I'm actually you can see the the uh, I'm I'm very zoomed out right now, so it already this small looking circle is actually showing us 835 millimeters, and so we're going to just enter 30. So it was a 64 diameter, so half of that's the radius, so 32, and so. First thing that does is gives us just a relative size, right? Now we know this is a 32 millimeter uh, radius circle, and uh, we can zoom in so it makes sense here. Okay, so uh, next thing we want to do is do the uh, the x direction. So that's 26 millimeters. Now I'm going to hit P. And I'm going to hit push. So that's push, and I'm, I can drag it up or down. And I'm going to drag, drag it up and hit 26. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is actually measure the inside diameter. I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's an inside diameter here with that yellow. And what I'm going to do for this is basically in vernier calipers, there's an inside measure and an outside measure. Basically, if I so if I use the outside measure now and kind of pull it so it holds it holds this whole thing. And this is showing 46. So if I do, oh, I'm sorry. That, so it's 46 on the inside, right? So it's 64 on the outside, 46 on the inside. What we really want to do, though, is measure the wall thickness here, right? We can also do that. And that is 9 millimeters. 
and that actually syncs up because nine times two, right? If you have two nine millimeter walls, and then uh, if 64 minus 18 is uh, 46, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, <laughs> okay, so how we're gonna do this though is we're gonna do the uh, inside diameter. I actually always forget what this tool is called. So this is called offset. Yeah, it's called the offset tool. Sorry. And what we do is we select the face that we want. And then we can drag it in by a certain amount here. And you see, if you look in the lower right corner, you can see the distance. And what we're going to do is put in 9, right? And now this distance, so if we measure from a little tape measure here, if we measure from here to here, it is 9. So 9 millimeters inside. Okay, cool. So now from here, right, we can say uh, we can measure down. Another thing we can use on the vernier calipers, right? So for 0 here is we can take put it on the edge and then push it down to see how deep that actually goes because now this distance also matches this distance also match I'm sorry also matches this distance also matches this distance which is 20 millimeters so now I can hit P and push this guy down 20 millimeters there are there is also the star pattern we're not really gonna do that this this is just gonna be simple just for today uh, and then, okay, so then there's also, you can see there's a, there's a yellow inside piece and then a black outside piece. So I'll measure that as well. Oops. I got a little offset there. So there is, on here, there is a zero button here. And so you can, you know, you can set pre, pre distances and zero it out. I did that by accident. So then when you go back to a completely closed solution. Now I want to zero that out again. Okay, so if I take a look at this, just measuring the black rubber piece there, looks like it's splitting it pretty evenly. So it's five millimeters. We'll do offset again, All right, and say five millimeters. And now we have what amounts to kind of a wheel. If we look at the, this is the uh, material types which is also just for colors. So we'll say black on the outside here. And then yellow on the inside. Okay. Now, like I said, we don't have the, the star there. We also don't have the centerpiece. We could, we could do the centerpiece if we wanted as well. So that's a 12, 12 millimeter center. So we could do that as well. And just pull this guy up out of here. No, it's not letting me. Uh, let's see. So I guess if I did a another offset on this bottom piece. So this center thing was 46 divided by 2 is 23. And we wanted this to be another 6 off that. So 23 minus 6 should be 17. There we go. Now we pull this guy back up by 20. And now we're a little bit closer to what this thing looks like. I right, just so got that centerpiece. We didn't cut out the stars, and we're not going to here just because of the measurements and stuff like that. Okay, last thing I wanted to do here, though, is that when you're, when you're making uh, models like this, now that you have your dimension set, you select the whole thing, right-click, and then say Make Component. And we'll just call this Wheel. Okay, and now we, if, we, if we hit M, we can move it. Right? And then if we hit control while we're moving, we can actually copy it. Once I actually click to copy, if I say 6x, it'll actually replicate it uh, six more times, or five more times, I suppose. So there's six total copies of that first one, uh, which I think is pretty cool as well. And then to just to verify the component, that it's all in the same component, if we right, right click, say edit component, and then we push down the center thing, we should see it actually go down all of them. You see now it's actually, it's that all of these are the same component. If we want to just modify one of them, we right click, say, uh, make unique. You see now it, on the outliner it becomes wheel number one. If you go and edit that component now and push, just that one goes down, not the others. So this is just a brief intro um, into components and uh, SketchUp and, and modeling, and we can do more of this later. But I just wanted to get a quick intro here, uh, especially introducing you to the vernier calipers, which I love.
So if you have any questions, please let us know in the forum. Hopefully this video wasn't too terrible. I know it's kind of a slow frame rate, uh, but uh, hopefully we got the point across. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.